Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something important to discuss in the world of iOS. Apple has released a new iteration of iOS 9.2.1 for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, as well as the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 4, iPad Air 2, and the iPad Pro. So just for those devices, and even though iOS 9.2.1 was released about a month ago at this point, if we open up Apple's site here, you'll notice that they state it was released to the public on January 19th. 19th. 2016. This specific version is for Air 53. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Air 53 occurred with devices that received unauthentic components relating to the Touch ID sensor. So when owners of the aforementioned devices who received those unauthorized Touch ID related repairs would plug them into iTunes to attempt either an update or a restore, it would throw back an Air 53 message, essentially permanently bricking the device. And the reason it would do that is because it would fail the Touch ID sensor validation during the update or restore process, resulting in a permanent brick. An Air 53 was intentional by Apple to protect the sensitive data stored on the secure enclave of the device's CPU. Since then though, and since Air 53 received so much news circulation, Apple was slapped with a class action lawsuit, and now today's new version of iOS 9.2.1 was issued in light of that. And essentially what it will do is it will just completely disable the Touch ID sensor if it detects that it's an unofficial component to protect the secure enclave until an official repair can be made. So keep in mind that if you're experiencing issues and you restore to the new version of iOS 9.2.1, you will not be able to use Touch ID until you take it into Apple and receive an official repair. Apple also claims that Air 53 was meant to be a factory test and it was never meant to affect their customers. Of course, that's just to save face, but it was most likely intentional on their behalf. Either way, they've now fixed it and it's a moot point with this new version of iOS 9.2.1. I actually think that Apple did a really great job handling this and alongside today's new iteration of iOS, they released this support document. I will have it linked down below in the more info specifically concerning Air 53 and an apology that was shared out via TechCrunch, which reads as follows, quote, we apologize for any inconvenience. This this was designed to be a factory test and was not intended to affect customers. Customers who paid for an out of warranty replacement of their device based on this issue should contact Apple Care about a reimbursement. So that's a pretty classy move. Thumbs up for that. Essentially, if you had to pay for a replacement of your device because of Air 53, then you can contact Apple Care again about a reimbursement. Now, as far as jailbreaking is concerned, this new version of iOS 9.2.1 doesn't really impact things one way or another. This current situation still remains and if you want to be caught up on absolutely everything related to jailbreaking as well as kind of what's going on right now in the community then you can check down below in the more info. I did release a video recently concerning the number of fakes that have started to pop up that are essentially toying with the emotions of so many individuals who are locked out of jailbreaking right now. So do not fall for the fakes and there's also another link there that discusses the current status of the next untethered jailbreak from either Taiji or Pangu. If you happen to miss any of my recent coverage again Again, just check below. I'll also have links on your screen now. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one, just be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.